In this example, I need to solve the following equation a over the interval from 0 to 2 pi and b for all solutions. The equation is 7 sine x plus 5 equals 2 sine x. Well, what type of equation is this? It's a trigonometric equation, but it only contains one trig function, that's sine x. What's the highest exponent on any of the sine x's? It's a 1. So this is a linear trigonometric equation in sine x. And how do we solve any linear equation? We get all our variables on one side, all our constants on the other. In this case, the variable is sine x. I'm going to collect my sine x's on the right-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 7 sine x from both sides of this equation. Excuse the bad handwriting. These add up to 0. So I get 5 equals 2 sine x minus 7 sine x is negative 5 sine x. Now to get sine x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by negative 5. That's going to give me 5 divided by negative 5 is negative 1 equals these negative 5's reduced. The only thing left on the right hand side is the sine of x. Now remember on the unit circle of these ordered pairs, the x-coordinate is always the cosine of that angle. The y-coordinate is the sine of that angle. I'm looking for the sine of x to be negative 1. That means I need the y-coordinate to be negative 1. Are there any points on the unit circle with a y-coordinate of negative 1? There's just one point right here that has the y-coordinate of negative 1, and that's for the angle of 3 pi over 2 radians. So in part A, I need to find solutions over the interval 0 to 2 pi. Well, there's just one point right here that satisfies these conditions, and that's when x equals 3 pi over 2 radians. Now in part B, we need to find all solutions. There are a couple of different ways of doing this. We're going to take the answer we got from part A of 3 pi over 2, this angle here, and then I want every possible angle that's coterminal with this angle. How do you find coterminal angles? You add and subtract multiples of one revolution. Since I'm in radians, that's 2 pi. So I'm going to add 2 pi times, pick your variable that you like, I like n, but you must state where n is an element of the integers. And that is the way that we represent every single angle that is coterminal with this angle. The other way to come up with this answer is to remember that the function y equals sine x has a period of 2 pi. So that means this function is going to repeat every 2 pi radians. So again, you have to add 2 pi times n, and don't forget you must state where n is an element of the integers.